want to learn how to integrate the YouTube player with Flutter with no need of the API key, with inline playback, caption support, live stream, playback speed, full screen mode and much more. All these within your Flutter app. So first we will add this YouTube player Flutter package in our project. So go ahead and copy it from here and add it inside the pubspec.yaml file. Now to get started, here we have a stateful widget with an init state, a scaffold with a simple app bar and a video URL of YouTube video that we want to show. By the way, any YouTube video URL will work. Below it, create the YouTube player controller which is that initializable. So before initializing this controller, inside the init state, we will get the video ID by calling the YouTube player dot convert URL to ID and give it the video URL variable where the video ID is simply this string in the URL. Now we will initialize the controller by calling the YouTube player controller. Now in it add the initial video ID equal to video ID. Then additionally we can pass flags like flags equal to YouTube player flags in which we can say autoplay equal to false and additionally we can pass these many flags to customize the features of the youtube player and that's all for the setup part now let's add the youtube player inside the column add the youtube player which requires a controller which we have initialized here then we will set the show progress indicator to true to show this progress indicator and now when we hot restart our application we will see a youtube player on our screen now to play this video as usual click the play button as well as the subscribe button just kidding now this is the youtube player integrated in our flutter app now for more customization we can add an already callback which will which will get call whenever the video is ready to play for example when we hot restart our app and the video is loaded we see ready in our console now this package also provide customization over the widget present in the bottom actions like the current position, progress bar, remaining duration, playback speed button and the full screen button. So let's add the bottom actions in the YouTube player, in it add the current position widget, then we will add a progress bar with is expanded to true, then add colors equal to the progress bar colors which takes a played color and a handle color. Now on save we can see that the progress bar color has changed to amber. Now let's add the playback speed button and this will show the playback speed button. This is the way you can customize the bottom actions in YouTube player. And for the widget used inside the bottom actions refer to the pub.dev where you will find the list of widgets used for customizing the player.